what, 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 Good morning, and thanks for joining us for Eagle Eye. I'm Kylie Blightinger. And I'm Megan Smith. Today on our show, we'll check out Eagle Sports and meet one junior who is a champion in the ring. We'll also take a look at why people choose AVHS. But first, the Abbott program is working hard on both academics and community services. Here's Nick with a look at the program that offers students. Many underclassmen are preparing for the futures through the classes that they choose. One of the most beneficial programs a student can take is AVID. AVID is a college prep program that targets students when they're in eighth grade and gets them into classes that are more challenging, more college prep, and gets them ready for college. The students get kind of an upper leg and support that they might need. AVID is like a college prep course. So it'll impact my future in a big way, making sure I live up to my potential and keep on the right track to go to college. Last week, AVID hosted an after-school dinner of foods from around the world made by AVID students and their families. The funds raised from this dinner will be used for scholarships for AVID seniors. I think it'll impact my future a lot because the past four years we've really been working on um, life after high school and what we're going to do after high school and I think it's prepared me really well. Um, the best experience I have and is with all my teachers because each year we have a teacher in AVID like Ms. Case or Ms. Kuhn and they all impact us in a different way and they all help us to be who we are today. It's not just the students who love AVID, the teachers love it too. I love teaching AVID. I've taught it since 2006 and I don't ever want to let it go. Just because you didn't make it to the dinner doesn't mean you can't be a part of this program. See your counselor for an application. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Nicholas Hansen. Thanks, Nick. Good luck to those AVID seniors as they apply for their scholarships. In activities this week, the Apple Valley Role Models are kicking off a kindness campaign. Here's Maddie with the story. This cold time of year is what Mr. Dagenar calls the mean season. In the winter, I get a lot gloomier and everyone's a lot more cranky. You hardly see the sun. It's bitter cold, especially right now. While we can't change the temperatures, we can change how we act. After the tragedy in Newtown, Connecticut, journalist Ann Curie brought some warmth to a dark time by proposing that we do good deeds in honor of the victims. The idea is do something good for someone, um, and you do it for 26 people in honor of the 26 victims. ABRM is going to need a list of 26 people, and they all have to go do one act of kindness. Doing something kind doesn't have to be costly or difficult. If someone drops their books in class, like if someone looks like they need help, just help them out. Reporting for Eagle Eye. I'm Maddie Engel. Thanks, Maddie. When you do things to make others feel better, you improve your own mood as well. While our Eagle athletes are in the mood to claim some victories, here's Jacob with an update on a few sports and a close-up on Jesus Rivera, who is boxing his way to the top. Hey, Eagle Sports fans, I'm Jacob Voss with this week's Eagle Sport Report. The Aviers are kicking their way to the top. They performed in the Eastview Showcase last weekend. They're working hard to prepare for sections on February 9th. The boys' hockey team has faced some tough competition this season and is battling through several injuries. They lost to Eastview on Tuesday night in a close back and forth game. They faced Burnsville away on Saturday. Good luck, guys. The Alpine ski teams competed at Buck Hill on Tuesday. The boys finished second out of seven, while the girls' squad was fourth. Now, let's go to Alicia for an ESR Extra, about a student who is a decorated athlete in a sport not offered here at AVHS. Jesus Rivera, or known to some as Chewy, is a junior here at AVHS. He takes chemistry, hangs out with friends, and is a competitive athlete, but not in a sport offered here. Three times a week, he and his family head to a Minneapolis gym just off of Lake Street in Chicago called the Circle of Discipline. I do it because it's for the love of the sport. Chewy's passion for boxing is embedded deep inside his family roots. He is a third generation boxer, living out the family legacy. Every time when I go to the gym, I bring my kid when he was about four or five years old. And uh, he was interested in boxing and learning how to box. Having my dad as a coach is pretty awesome. I wouldn't have any other coach in the world. He motivates me a lot because I know he's there to support me, and I wouldn't have it the other way. 
With his dad in his corner, Chewie has some impressive accomplishments in the ring. He has earned seven state silver glove championships, two regional junior Olympic championships, and placed eighth in the National Junior Olympics. Well, I hope to make it to the top one day and be a champion with the title belt, world championship belt. With this as his goal, his mother and two sisters are his biggest fans. I just want to get in the ring, take it out, you know, because I know Chewy. I know he's boxing and he's really good about boxing. That I love him so much and he's the best boxer and brother. I mean, I told him, I don't care if you last or when, you're still my champion. The circle of discipline has shaped Chewie's character today in his family, school, and in the gym. Boxing has changed him for the better. Uh, it made me more disciplined, more respectful, more organized, more responsible. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Alicia Dodge. That's all for the sports this week, Eagles fans. See you in two weeks. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Jacob, and we'll have to keep up with Chewie's success. Thanks also to Ms. Coco Levine for encouraging us to share his story. If you know of someone with unique talents or skills in our community, let us know. That's what Eagle Eye is all about, stories. Eagle Eye has come a long way in seven years. Here's Sarah with a story on what our broadcasting class offers. Good morning, Apple Valley, and welcome to the first edition of Eagle Eye on the Fly. I'm Levi Miller. I'm Sarah All, and we are happy to report to you from our broadcasting studio in the new wing of the school. Since October 2006, Eagle Eye has been on the air, producing updates on arts, athletics, and academics for over 94 shows. My students and all the students in this area, at least, are crowded around the TV because they really enjoy it. I look forward to the sports section because it keeps me informed on how the, sport, like, the sports teams are doing. While the first few years of productions grab people's attention, they didn't bring in the accolades that students' work is vying for today. My goals for the class are to make stories that interest people, but also that are good and can, we can enter to. And that was just the beginning. Since then, Eagle Eye has earned many regional and national awards for storytelling and production. I would say in order to achieve my goals, I would probably have to get good shots, get good interviews, and work well with others, because that's pretty much what this class is all about. Now, in the seventh season and nearing the hundredth show, Eagle Eye is still challenging students and holding viewers. Two thumbs up. I love it. I think it's an excellent program. I think it involves kids that are not usually involved in things and gives them a whole lot of power and impact in the building that they might not have had. If you're interested in learning more about Eagle Eye, see Mr. Dodge or Ms. Voss and pick up an application in the Guidance Office or ITC. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Sarah Jarosek. Thanks, Sarah. You know, it's been only one trimester for me, but I sure have learned a lot. It is challenging, but fun. This is the time of year when students are making choices about school and for next fall. Here's Ashley with a look at why people choose the Apple Valley High School. With four high schools and one environmental school in District 196, students have many options on where they can choose to go, but one school seems to stand out above the rest. What I like most about Apple Valley High School is the relationship that the staff, the faculty has with their students. Apple Valley has really good classes and all my friends are here. There's just always a buzz. There's always something going on in this school and that's what makes it really fun. It's a high energy school. Their choice isn't random though. There are many reasons that people come to Apple Valley High School. My class doesn't really work in my schedule at SAS. It's also a plus just being with my friends that I've grown up with and known forever. I applied right away and was lucky enough to be hired. I don't go to STS full time because I have to come back for choir and I have lots of sports after school. My brother went here and my mom probably killed me if I wanted to go to ECU. As Mr. Biskin says, it's a great day to be an Eagle. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Ashley Kramer. Thanks Ashley. Everyone has their own reason for being here. That's all for today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.